So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to get great contact all of the time, something that most amateur golfers really kind of struggle with. So the way that you're going to do this is we're going to do it with a very simple drill. And the idea is, is if this was my normal stance, what you're going to do is, if you like, you can put your feet together and then you can put your lead foot a foot forward and then drop your trail foot a foot back. So you're going to look something like so. Now, obviously, if you need to narrow, uh, narrow or widen your stance accordingly so you can keep a balance, that's absolutely fine. You're going to go for something with a little bit of loft to get started with. You can progress through the clubs as you want to. But the idea in this exercise, quite simply, is that from this stance and this position, you are now going to concentrate on just trying to strike the back of the golf ball. Now, that might seem like pretty obvious, but what this drill quite cleverly does is it exposes the trail arm. So for golfers who don't get great contact, what happens is that in the downswing, this arm doesn't move to the side of the body enough and it kind of gets left out a little bit. And if it gets left out over here, then what you'll notice is that either the club will be lifting up or you're going to get too flicky and too scoopy. So by kind of isolating the arms, it just brings your concentration to the arms. It doesn't allow your consciousness to be on what your body's doing, apart from trying to keep your balance. Now, what happens, I think, for golfers who end up with hands that work, should we say, too wide or too much this way instead of coming to the side of the body, is you end up having to try and get your contact by moving your body in a different way, you see. And this is why you end up seeing sort of golfers in quite, you know, unusual positions like so, because it's helping them find the low point. So the, the simplicity of this exercise, in terms of from a theory basis, is to do two things. You're trying to allow your trail arm to move down towards the side of your body, and you've got to try and keep your head still or if you like, stay balanced. And then what this exercise is hopefully training you to do is to try to convince your brain that you can keep your head nice and still and move your arms to the side of your body and that's gonna give you really good contact. Now, with this exercise, again, we're talking contact. So it's acceptable that obviously with this, if I sort of do, see the way that my arms, you're gonna end up feeling like there's a lot of rotation with your arms at this stage because we're not pivoting through the ball. But again, it's irrelevant because what we're really trying to concentrate on with this exercise is solely just getting a better contact. And hopefully you can hear from the two shots I've hit so far, that one a little bit sort of cleaner. But again, it's what it's doing is it's encouraging me to find a way, that was better, to bring these arms inward to get good contact. So the stance is really important. And what it does as well is I think it gets golfers away from the idea that you think, oh, if I move my body like this or something, I'll get really good contact. It's not that. Your contact is gonna come from two things. Hands coming down this way and making sure that you keep your sternum, should we say, over the golf ball. Okay, so like so. So again, I take this stance, as I demonstrated earlier, swing it back and through. And as you can see, I'm just going to do a three quarter turn swing. So I wouldn't be able to swing any further really anywhere without kind of falling off balance. Like I say, if you want to progress this up, okay, and go for something a little bit more uh, with less loft, absolutely fine. Obviously when you're doing a shorter swing and you go through the clubs with less loft, you just won't produce as much speed. So the ball won't climb very high, but it's still a great exercise that you can achieve lots and lots of repetition doing. Now, as time goes on, what you would then do is once you've practiced this type of exercise is I would suggest that you just you change it up slightly. So instead of, as I demonstrated earlier, let's go through that process again. Now I'm just going to widen my stance slightly. OK, so I'm still keeping the same feet position, but now I'm going to hit some shots with this type of stance. OK, and then what I can do is on the next one is again, is I can maybe start to normalize it slightly. Okay, so now I've got the normal width of stance. My feet are still quite closed. Bringing my hands down, keeping my head still until you can kind of just experiment with almost getting the same feeling going back into a normal stance. Okay, and what I'm trying to do is I'm really trying to get you to understand that if you can't do this drill and get good contact, it's not because the drill, well, the drill's gonna be challenging, but it's not because of the drill, it's because this arm doesn't move enough this way. So if you can't get contact, Start by just hitting the ground. And if you can hit the ground, then try and treat yourself to hitting some golf balls. But it's a really worthwhile drill. It's something that I work a lot with students of mine, and it should help you out a ton. See you soon.